I'm not sure this is going to work, but I'm going to try it anyway. I want to respond to your video, Mr. J. John, that uh, you had on YouTube, and uh, I believe its subject was about the truth. Uh, it was part of Kingstock or something like that. My name's Anthony. Uh, you may have seen me on uh, YouTube before. And I live in uh, Galston, Great Yarmouth. Uh, I'm not very good with this technical stuff, but I don't want to take too long, OK? You quoted from the book of James and the Bible, perfectly good source to quote from, and you quoted the ninth commandment as well. Perfectly true that um, we shouldn't bear false witness. We shouldn't lie. Mr John, I want to say this to you. Your idea seems to be very much that truth is an absolute and must always be kept to. It doesn't matter about the circumstances, doesn't matter about anything else, this absolute must be adhered to. I'd like you, if you would please, to consider the following situation. It's fictional, but perhaps it makes my point, and perhaps you would like to respond. Or perhaps somebody else on this forum might like to respond as well. Consider this. You are in the back garden of your house. I have no idea where you live. I don't know what it's like, but without making too much of a big deal of it, you're in the back garden of your house. It's Sunday, and probably like many of us, you're attending to the garden. I'm not a great gardener, but you're down there, and you're well out of sight. Your wife hears a knock at the door. There's only two of you on the premises. Your wife goes to answer the door, and outside... She opens it on three masked, armed men. They barge their way in. Your wife is naturally terrified. She's unable to stop them. They're hooded and masked, and they are both, or three of them rather, are carrying weapons. Pointing a gun at your wife, they say, OK, where is he? He preaches all this Christian stuff. We're fed up with it. Where is he? I think we need a quick word. Now, thinking very quickly, and obviously very frightened and very concerned, your wife makes this decision. Oh, she says, I'm scared about what's happening. Of course, I'm really terrified and, you know, you're really frightening me, but I've got to be honest with you. J. John left for a conference yesterday in Loughborough and if you'll just come with me, I can even take you to the garage and I'll show you that the car, there's only one car, has gone. And really, as it says in the Bible, if you're looking for him here, you're looking for him in the wrong place because he is currently in Loughborough. Well, for some reason or another, that works. Your wife is immensely relieved and um, the, uh, <coughs> the armed men obviously buy it and they go away. Searching Loughborough, goodness knows where, but they go away to search Loughborough, and it's worked. So naturally, your wife, being a decent law-abiding citizen and concerned for the welfare of everybody, everybody else, calls the police to say that uh, there are now three armed men out looking for you in Loughborough, but she's persuaded them to leave the house. Now, you come back, Mr John, and you deal with her. You comfort her, because she's obviously very upset. She's continuing to cry. She's been really shaken by the experience. And you say, but darling, how did you get them to go away? Now, she tells you the story. And she says, John, oh, I don't know if your first name is John, but I'm sorry, I, I broke the ninth commandment. I lied to them. I knew you were in the garden, but, well, just as Eve lied in the Garden of Eden, I lied to them, my darling, and that's a sin. I know I've sinned in lying to those men, those masked armed men. I know I should have told them where you were, because I've told a lie. Mr John, if the truth is an absolute and must always be told, without omission, without holding back, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Was your wife committing a sin? Better still, are there occasions when this 
absolute view of morality and truth may not quite be helpful. I'd love your answer on that. Do feel free to post. Thanks, Mr. John. Bye-bye.